see if I actually got the chance to do like a movie review for this beautiful, ultimate, oh my god, I cannot explain it anymore, awesome movie. Yeah, this, 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 this is literally like Schrodinger's cat. If you don't know what that is, it's like an experiment. Look it up. It's actually an experiment. But it's literally just like an experiment that this, that this professor named Schrodinger literally put this cat in a box in. And, and when and he proposed it, and he put like a little bit of poison in the box, and he proposed that when he opened the box, and the poison, it, well, he proposed that when he opened up the box, the cat would be dead, alive, or both. The dead would the cat that the dead cat would be like the movie was awful. I wasted like almost two hours of my life. The the, the alive cat would be like I want to go see this again actually, and then the both would be like. This movie had some. This movie had part that part had part, was in this movie was formal, but had some good parts that saved it. But nope, it was oh, it was a lie. The cat was freaking a lie. So, yep. Anyways, um, you know, express it. It was this ultimate only also. <coughs> I mean, I literally laughed my butt off almost in this entire movie <laughs> because. Yes, it's kind of, it has a little bit of dark humor, per se. By that, I mean, like, some parts I think a little gory. Well, you shut a tractor! I literally have a tractor going right by my house at this point. Just move along! Okay, thank you. But anyway. I mean, yeah, it's like, I really can't, if, I mean, it was like a little, kind of little parts that were a little gruesome. Not I'm like gory where you could like 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 you usually see it, but I like stuff like necromancing and stuff, so it kinda of made it a little darker. It was a little darker per se, but apart from that, it was I the mo if you guys have a theater near you, then you can actually go see this movie in well not I say the movie that this movie is in. I recommend going see I recommend you guys going to see it for yourself. It was just awesome. Can't explain it anymore. I yeah, and I have some spoilers ahead. Pretty much, it's not like, not some spoiler ahead, but, what, then yeah, some spoiler ahead, pretty much. It's, the, the story takes place in New Zebedee, Michigan, in 1990, 1955, and this kid named Lewis, in this new poster I'm pointing down here, it's this kid, has to go with his uncle Jonathan, who was played by Jack Black. So, you can tell the movie's gonna get good if it has Jack Black in it. So, yeah, anyway. So pretty much she, and pretty much this house is like, they can't kids at the school saying that this house is haunted, like some guy murdered, him. like an old man was murdered in here, but no, that's not true. What actually happened for saying is that there was this warlock, or this kid's boy witch, literally what, literally, who turned evil, after he came back from the war, because he thought he was being taught by um, taught by another evil war, taught by an evil warlock. But no, it was actually taught by a demon. So pretty much, when he was in the war, so pretty much he, pretty much almost, pretty much the house is in, and all I gotta say is that the house is an entire clock itself. Well, Jack Black, well, Jack Black's character is actually, well, John, yeah, Uncle, well, Uncle Jonathan, okay, Jack Black, is actually trying to find the clock itself. Because, literally, literally one night, he listened, he literally has a flash and he listens for him through the walls. And then the next night, he straight up goes right down to a basement and literally grabs an axe and just chucks it at the wall over and over again. And this was after that. This pastor one of the kids. Kids told Jonathan that this is after one of the kids told told Lewis, the main kid, the main character, pretty much, told them that this guy was that there was a guy who was actually murdered in this house. Literally, 
Oh, for me. Literally, in our theaters, in our theater, we have an LDX theater. If you don't know that, if you don't know what that looks like, it literally looks like. But yeah, this is what our LDX theater looks like. This is not this. I have no idea who this guy is, but I just looked up an image. But yeah, we're pretty much spoiled at this point. We're really spoiled. That's my movie. Me, but but I'm not trying to be harsh. But our but our theater, but our theater, we're bigger than that at this point. Just camp in that theater. I mean, literally, my legs didn't even touch the end of the seat. Even my dad, you know, my, dad, okay. my mom's legs were pretty long. Didn't even touch the way. Didn't even touch the end. Yeah. It was pretty sad just to know that her legs didn't even touch the end. That's how big our seats were. They were ultimately awesome. I should have brought a blanket with me when we went there. Anyway, it's back to the movie review. So yeah, anyway, actually, let's show, show you guys that I think guys are pretty jealous of our movie theater now. But anyway, if you are, if you are, if probably you guys already have one, have them yourself. But yeah, just a little bit, and literally, it actually has some funny, and literally has some funny parts, and what, what I find really coincidental, actually, is that all the funny parts either had Jack Black in them, or they were Jack Black doing something funny. And literally, this guy's playing the one that, pretty much the old man who, old man who was murdered, in this case, actually, um, this old, well, pretty much the evil warlock, well, wizard, I should say, at this point, pretty much. I mean, they don't call him wizard, but I'm going to say that, and I'm going to call him wizard since it's easier for me to send him to stand, because like warlock over and over and over again. Pretty much, he... His name was Isaac Izzard, and his, and his wife, Lena Izzard, she, they thought she was dead, but she actually was morphed in, but she was actually hiding in disguise as her neighbor, Mrs. Hanshed, who was actually murdered for, because they used her bones as a key for the clock itself. Yeah, but when I said it gets a little gristle, that's what I meant. Some parts that actually, like, they really had to dig their hand, hands into the key just to, to unlock the, just to unlock where the actual hiding of the clock is. It's really weird. But yeah, anyway, so pretty much, what was I saying? I think it was. I don't know why. pretty much his plan is to turn back time before human, to the beginning of man. That pretty much means at the very beginning, before he, before humans were even made. So that, and he was, and pretty much he, he almost had a flaw in that plan. But he, then he mentioned that he was going to make sure that he erased time. Erased it to make sure that, erased, well, everything, so humans were not, couldn't enter it. So humans would never actually be made. It would only just be him and her. Him and his wife. Him and his freaking wife. Oh, this, I, need, I need to take a moment for a second. Just, anyways, I'm back for my minute. I had to, anyways. So pretty, and also, I really, and at the end, of, and at the end, there were, at the, where the credits were, and literally, Said no chairs or top or topogary, topogary, so pretty much like garden griffins. We're never, we're, har we're not, har we're, har we're harmed in the making of this video and this, of this film. So pretty much no chairs or garden griffins were harmed in the making of this movie. It was really weird. But yeah, anyway. They even had a pet snake named Snakeyless, and the experiment failed because they were supposed to turn him into a pink snake, but then he was just turned into like this octopus thing. You never actually got to see the head of it, all you got to see was tentacles. But literally, just every part they put in this movie was just also a problem. 